with the lids uh, at uh, Strathalb and then jump beautifully at Angle Park to lead there. So it'll be interesting. And Viren's legacy will begin quickly in position two if it replicates what it did at Angle Park. It began very fast. We're about to find out. Green light goes on. There's no more bets. Thank you. We're set to go. Favourite box three, Lethal Fury. Away, showing good speed. Gypsy Revol is going to clear them. Got across, chasing out after Lethal Fury's dangerous and close and very handy. Dixie Rhythm behind those, and in turn, Byron's Legacy. Following those through was Jaramundi Tiny. Out the back there was Dinah Hogan. It's nowhere to be seen, but the favourite goes to the front, goes straight past Gypsy Revolver, and Lethal Fury's going to be too good. Lethal Fury goes on to win by three lengths. Gypsy Revolver held on for second, just in front of Dixie Rhythm. I think Byron's Legacy might have grabbed fourth in front of ASA Red Rocker behind. Behind those was Dinah Hogan at the tail end of the field, Gibaloni and Yaramundi Tiny. The time is 22.87. It's 3.6 and it should be one for third. Yeah, she looked dangerous down the back, so close to uh, Gypsy Revolver. And was able to pick it up and go on to win by four and a quarter lengths. Four and a quarter lengths, the winning margin. Three, six, one and two. Three, six, one and two, the judges' numbers. 3612, the time 2287. 2287. Uh, the run home was 1421. 1421. 2287, the time 361 and 2. 361 and 2. And uh, the fate was able to get that clear run and uh, look mighty dangerous. Four and a quarter by head. Four and a quarter by head, the margins. 2287, the time. Brindle Bitch, uh, February 2014, Dinah.